In the aftermath of the unprecedented flooding our area has seen, there's more than just cleanup and recovery to focus on. There are also lessons that can be learned about what worked, what didn't, and what needs to be changed. And one of those things that needs to change is getting more people to keep a closer eye on what is happening in their part of the world. Rock Rapids, Iowa. What happened here was unprecedented. In recorded history, there has never been a flood as bad as what moved through here in the last week of June. It was just unbelievable. It flooded 10 years ago, but it didn't do the damage that it did this time of taking away concrete and vehicles. Arden Kapischke is the emergency manager for Lyon County, Iowa. When people talk about historic floods, it was 2014 that most readily came to mind, but not anymore. Not after this. But it's just so hard to imagine the force of that water and the damage that it can do. The water here has receded, the smell of the flood is gone, but what remains are the skeletons of buildings that the flood tore through. Homes red tagged, meaning they can no longer be lived in. Streets either washed out or washed away. People's belongings still being removed and put out on the curb, headed for the landfill. So it's a new line that was drawn in the sand, basically. In a flash flood situation, like most other situations in life, knowledge is power. Knowing where it rained, when it rained, specifically how much it rained. Those are important pieces of information to have, but not always easy to get. One of the ways the National Weather Service keeps an eye on river levels in our area is through a partnership with private citizens, where those citizens keep track of how much rain they receive in their area. The problem in Northwest Iowa is that there are not a lot of people taking part in that program. And as a result, the Weather Service doesn't have as much information as they could have when it comes to flooding situations like we've seen recently. Radar can provide us some estimate on, on how much rain has fallen, but there's nothing better than an actual, you know, human observed rainfall amount. So the Andrew Kalin is a hydrologist with the National Weather Service in Sioux Falls and is an important part of that partnership program. It's called Coco Ross, the Community Collaborative Rain, Hail and Snow Network. In the aftermath of that Northwest Iowa flooding and how hard Rock Rapids and other cities were hit, Kalen did some checking and found a lot of white space in his Northwest Iowa map. Those blue dots are reporting stations for the Coco Ross program. But all that white space? There's nobody there to keep an eye on what's happening. The more dense of a network we have for rainfall reports, uh, the better the river forecasts come out. And those river forecasts are critical for county emergency managers like Arden Kapischke. If it rains, an inch, your river may rise to this amount. If it rains two inches, it may rise to this amount. Accuracy is essential in getting people out of harm's way as soon as possible. Hydrologist Andrew Kalin says accuracy means getting more people involved. The more dots we can put on this map, uh, the better. Coco Ross team members sign up through the National Weather Service. They then undergo online training. Then they get what's called a high capacity four inch diameter rain gauge. Then they record rainfall totals either online or through the use of an app, and that's it. There is a specific need right now for observers in northwestern Iowa. And if you'd like to take part, we've included a link with this story at dakotanewsnow.com.